It hails from the Mediterranean and it's about 8 millimeters long. So if you notice this red and black bug, it's probably not because of its size. Rather, it will be because it's one of thousands that have just invaded your yard. That's what happened in Ramona recently. A resident called and let us know that they had red bug in their yard in Ramona, wondered what this new insect was because they had never seen it before. Leah Taylor, who's our insect detection specialist, went out to the site and collected a number of red bugs. These are native weeds that I pulled from, from the resident's yard that she helped me collect. And there's quite a few hundred in there. They're really small in all different life stages. We have, you know, very, very small nymphs all the way into mating adults. Scantius aegyptius. It's what they call an old world bug, but this sample marks the first time it's been positively identified in a lab in San Diego County, which takes some work because it's not the only red bug wandering our lands. It looks a lot like a whole bunch of other bugs that are here in the county already. So if somebody thinks that they have red bug, they should check against a, vi a variety of bugs that we already have. The good news is that as far as we can tell, it's not much of a threat. They're not harmful to people, they're not harmful to pets, and they can't bite. So they're not stinging, they're not biting, they don't represent any hazard. They look really interesting because they're red, but I think that's mostly the red is there to deter predators. The big question though is what are they eating? After all, it's what's got the attention of agriculture departments across Southern California. It was first identified in Orange County in June 2009, and so far it's good news. It seems that they only have an appetite for broadleaf weeds, such as the mallow that commonly grows on vacant land. Most of them develop during the springtime after the rain. And once the, the weeds dry down, they crawl off the weeds and that's when they aggregate at homes and other locations where they then meet as a group to overwinter mate for the following spring where they lay eggs again. Based on what people know from other counties, it shouldn't be a problem in garden or ornamental plantings, but we don't know for sure in San Diego County if it attacks any plant of interest. So if people find it attacking or feeding on a certain plant, they should definitely let us know. Ideally, the folks at Ag Weights and Measures would love a sample to confirm the bug and the plant that they're feeding on. They have two labs, one in Kearney Mesa and one in San Marcos. The addresses and instructions on how to submit a sample can be found by clicking on the link below. In the County News Centre, I'm Dominic Fulgoni.